Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm Alyssa. Juanita. And we're going to be reacting to Ruby Volume 4, Chapter 7, and it's called Punished. Woo! Mm -hmm. It's been a really long time since we've done this. <laughs> but uh, last we left off, um, Tyrion was there bothering Team Ranger, and Crow was like, not my babies, <laughs> comes out, Ruby's about to get, like, scorpioned, and he's just like, that ain't happening today. So, I don't, I don't really want to say much more. You want to just go into Yeah, it? I think yeah. we really just want to get gonna into it. We're going to watch, like, a whole bunch back to back. We're going to watch it through to the finale. <laughs> yeah. So, we're going to be wearing the same clothes. <laughs> We hope you guys don't mind, and these should be uploaded throughout the week Plus till we, the finale. Yeah, and we love binging, so I love binging. Mm -hmm. Here we go. <laughs> oh, little farm boy. Yep. Oscar, Oscar's almost ready. Is it Oscar? Yeah, his name's Oscar. Now I remember. Doesn't matter. You're eating it. <laughs> I never agreed to these terms. <laughs> oh shit. What a parent. <laughs> I like that rug. We have to leave. What? Ozpin. Oscar. Oscar. This poor kid. <laughs> Is hearing voices in his head? I have decided you're not real, so you might as well just give up. Hmm. I mean, that's smart. I understand how you're feeling. See, look at that rug. I the Sarah! I'm sorry. <laughs> What's well, we have thing? matching tops. They went to the same thing. Like, what same thing? Oh, he's reading a book of fairy tales, I'm assuming. Who puts their books that way in a bookshelf? I do. I can assure you. You put the spine back and paint the in my head. I didn't say you were normal. I said you were safe. Fair. There's quite a significant difference between Do you think this is funny? It's not. You think he could talk to the dead? We are in complete agreement on that matter, I promise. I don't think Austin's dead. Believe me, I yeah. wish this weren't the case. But as I told you, our aura, our souls, are combined. Okay. I'm done listening to you. So how could that happen to you? I mean, I've been to Haven. I don't blame this kid. I told you I'm not going, and I told you I'm done listening. Do you think you could describe the Our head one. Um, excuse me? No, why would I know that? I've never seen Try. Right now. That's probably... That's... Oh, I like this. Our beautiful. With a large mahogany desk. There's a small table. He's half in shadow, half in light. The tea set. And the tea set was a gift to the man running it now. If you don't believe me, you can look it up. If I recall, your aunt has several books on Mistral downstairs. I'm certain you could find a picture in one of them. That's right. I must have seen it in a picture. <laughs> this poor kid. Oscar, stop talking to me! I have a grave responsibility to uphold. We both do. That's so unfair. They just shove all these stuff on these no, poor kids. You didn't. And neither did I at first. But you do have an opportunity. For what? So you're saying like you didn't ask for it, Greatness, neither did I, but you know. Hopefully. Greatness in knowing that when the world needed help, you were the one to reach out your hand. It won't come without hardship, without sacrifice. But I know you don't want to live the rest of your life working as a farmhand in Misrule. So you just decided to read my thoughts? That rug does look I, good. Well, Sorry. they're our thoughts now. I don't know how to feel about this. Get out this. of my head! Yelling? I know that too. Nice. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Do you have any idea?
idea what your stunt cost us. I... And don't think I'm just talking about Lien here. Our reputation. Our... I hate our... this guy so much. I want to leave. Mm -hmm. I beg your pardon. Oh, I love that bit. I want that bit. I say, I want to leave. I don't want to stay here anymore. I don't want to stay in Alice anymore. I don't Young believe you. I don't give a damn about what you want. This ain't gone with the wind. This ain't gone with the wind. Your family name and your apparent insistence on dragging it through the mud. I have done nothing but fight to uphold the honor of my family name. A name that you married into. <laughs> Just slap Jacques Schnee's about to see these hands, fool. Catch me outside. The of yours is incredible. You couldn't possibly understand the lengths I've gone to in order to keep this family where it is. There he's left. I know. Like I'm trying to process. Being stronger, you're wrong. Siding with her only divides us. Take that fucking I'm not sword with and stab him through the I'm chest. I'm doing what I feel is right, and that does not include wasting my time up here with these clueless people in Atlas. Thank you. The Schneef family legacy isn't yours to leave. It's mine. Ooh. And I'll do it as a huntress. Bless. No, you won't. Girl, leave. You're not leaving Atlas. You're not to leave the manor grounds unless I specifically allow it. You are going to remain here, out of sight and out of trouble. Until you and I come to an agreement. Someone smuggle this girl out of this castle for the love of everything. Your presupposition that you can simply have whatever it is you want is a clear sign of our failure as parents. But from now on, I'll be giving you the full attention you require. Starting by keeping you where I can see you. How are you going to do that, huh? You can't just keep me from leaving. I can. And the staff here will make sure of it. Um, so not I'm just your our prisoner? handy butler. You are my daughter. You're a child. And children are grounded when they misbehave. This is only going to make things worse, Father. People will ask questions. They'll want to know why the heiress to the Schnee Dust Company is suddenly nowhere to be found. Which is why you are no longer the heiress to the Schnee Dust Company. Excuse me? Clearly, the trauma you endured at the fall of Beacon was too much for you, which is why you've generously revoked your claim to the company. I can't take this seriously. Pass them on to your <laughs> You know, I'm seeing the Snow White parallels, you know. It's time to wake up and face reality. And she's gonna, like, kill him and come back and then, like, be queen <laughs> of the company. This motherfucker over here, Whitley. Was he listening the whole time? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Girl, just hop out that window Ugh. real quick. I know. You use your glyphs. You, you could go home. Yeah. I'm so, like... You have no reason to stay now. Yes, sister? Ugh. No wonder you know Winter doesn't this? like him. About what? You never liked Winter. You never liked me. But you've been nothing but supportive since the moment I came back. If being kind to my big sister is some sort of crime, then I suppose I'm guilty. Just leave once. You wanted this to happen. It's foolish not to do as Father asks. I can't believe you. Don't worry, Weiss. The Shmi family name is in good hands. I bet this boy ain't even a Shmi. <laughs> oh, he definitely is. It's exactly like his father. <laughs> well, he married into the Shmi family, Sarah. Yeah, but... That's She's a real Shmi. Oh, poor boys. Call the general. Right? Leave. Baby boo boo boo. Ironwood. Leave. Winter. Somebody. Or she's gonna break herself out, because once again, also. I'm really liking the dress. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> the more and more I see it. Yes. Also, I just wanted to break herself out. She's gonna train me. Registration. Mm. You thought. <laughs> Live and breathe. Crow Brockman. A true hunter. 
Huntsman has entered the fray. Fair. I don't know. This guy's weird. <laughs> Look, pal, I'm not sure who you are. You need to leave my niece alone. <laughs> Why, friend, my name is Tyrion. And I'm afraid that is not possible. My assignment from her grace was to retrieve this young girl. So, that is what I must do. One does not upset the queen. Queen? Sam. Who? <laughs> I think we've had enough talk now, don't you? You took the words right out of me. Yes! <laughs> Getting right to the point. Why do people have to ruin? 
Y'all see he hurt? What y'all doing a million yeah. questions for? What's going on? <laughs> Give him a minute. What's your favorite fairy tale? Is he gonna be okay? Okay, pause. All right, let's. All right, so oh. what did you think, Sarah? You have some opinions, I see. Ruby, come on, <laughs> come on. You, I know, I know you want experience, but like, you need to back down sometimes. There's, there's like, I, I don't know. I, I can't. I mean, I feel like it's fairly in character for her. Yeah, it, but it's just a little annoying because he obviously is more trained, more qualified mm -hmm. than her to, to to fight someone like him. And she's just like getting in the way. Ruby's yeah. always wanted to be in the action because she's always wanted to do good. Like she said, this is my fight too. But like, you gotta know, I'm gonna use a really bad analogy here. When to hold them and when to fold them. <laughs> Pick and choose. Exactly. Pick your battles. Yeah. And like this was not the battle for her to butt her head in. Crow had it under control. But you know what? I was really glad that she sliced that fucking tail because <laughs> she said, "You bitch." That was good. Like that was really good. I was getting so annoyed with that thing. But, <laughs> but she did it at the cost of Crow getting grazed by it. Right. Which we don't know what will happen. The side effects of it. All. Yeah. Exactly. All right. What do we have to say about that abusive father we got right there? <laughs> I mean, I, I already said what I said. <laughs> So, I said what I, I said. said. I said, catch me outside, how about that Jacques Snee? I feel Snee. like, um... And Whitley. She just needs to leave. That I know. toxic right? environment. Like, why can't she just, like, train she's somewhere not, else? But she's not going to be able to get out right now because he said he's going to have eyes on her at all times. Please. I know she's going to eventually, I know. His, but staff, like, his staff are not hunters. Unless they are. But, like, there's like, ways of keeping And plus she has her glyphs where she can, she can practically float in the air. I know she's going <laughs> to get there eventually, but, like, still, you know, that's like your parents saying that to you. And she's oh, probably been in that environment her entire life. Okay, Think yeah, about yeah. it. Like, you're not going to, like, want to automatically, like, necessarily really? go against that. Mm. I'm just, like, I, I, it was funny, like, she was like, you're married into the family. Like, why did he take his wife's name? Because they were so... Because they're powerful. And where's the mother? No wonder he didn't look like them. Where's like, the mother? The absentee, garden. abusive father, absentee mother. What the hell? Drinking in the garden. Isn't she, she's the, she was the, she was a schnee. Mm -hmm. So shouldn't she be the one, like, taking control? Maybe she didn't want control, so she gave it to her husband. Or he, like, usurped power in a coup. I'm getting real fancy with this. I don't need to. I <laughs> but, am so um, also, Whitley's the little shit we all thought he was. <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't really care about him because he's just stupid, you know, like, I just, I feel like he, he wants power and like, you know, he's going to get it through his father, but like, like, what, how long is that really going to last? It's like a Joffrey situation. Why is his evil stepbrother? Well, <laughs> Even though he's not her stepbrother, but you know what I mean. But, yeah, I really think like, as soon, I mean, as soon as he gets any, like, he's going to get any power anytime soon, still we have this father and he's got to die <laughs> yeah someday <laughs> today yeah and he's today not, he's not that old so what does it really matter right now you know what i mean god so i'll let you mull it over and then in the beginning we had oscar and ospin uh, fighting for fighting for dominance <laughs> when we were gonna say fighting for dominance austin was just like can you acknowledge that i'm here <laughs> oscar's like <laughs> no no <laughs> So maybe Ozpin really is like destroyed. I don't think he's dead. Maybe his soul. His, uh, that's what I'm saying. Like his body's gone, but, but his, his soul is in Oscar. Yeah. I think he's in hibernation. <laughs> Hi. That's a possibility. He could well, be like astral projecting himself almost. Well, he's supposed to be like the Wizard of Oz, right? You you don't see the man behind the curtain. Yeah. Well, you did though. Yeah, but now you don't. Yeah, it would have been like an opposite Wizard of Oz. I don't know. Uh, I really saw the parallels with like Snow White in this episode, though. Like, you gotta escape the abusive castle. Oh my god! Please, God's. I couldn't. I couldn't. Yeah. I can't. Okay. You ready for the next? One? Yes. Let's go yeah. next one. We'll see um, in, like a minute. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm Alyssa. I'm Juanita, and we're going to be reacting to Ruby Volume Four, Chapter Seven, and it's called Punished. Woo! Mm -hmm. It's been a really long time since we've done this. <laughs> but uh, last we left off, 
Um, Tyrion was there bothering Team Ranger, and Crow was like, not my babies, <laughs> comes out, Ruby's about to get, like, scorpioned, and he's just like, that ain't happening today. So, I don't, I don't really want to say much more. You want to just go in? Yeah, I think yeah. we really just want to get gonna into watch, it. We're going to watch, like, a whole bunch back to back. We're yeah. going to watch it through to the finale. <laughs> yeah. So, we're going to be wearing the same clothes. <laughs> We hope you guys don't mind, and these should be uploaded throughout the week Plus till we, the finale. Yeah, and we love binging, so I love binging. Mm -hmm. Here we go. <laughs> I'm a little farm boy. Yep. Oscar, Oscar's almost ready. You said Oscar? Yeah, his name's Oscar. Now I remember. Does it matter? You're eating it. <laughs> I never agreed to these terms. <laughs> oh shit. What a parent. <laughs> I like that rug. <laughs> we have to leave. What? Oscar. 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 This poor kid. <laughs> hearing voices in his head. Have decided you're not real, so you might as well just give up. Ooh. I mean, that's smart. I understand how you're feeling. See, look at that rug. I the Sarah! Thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's well, we have thing? matching tops. They were, they were the same thing, like what same thing? Oh, he's reading a book of fairy tales, I'm assuming. Who puts their books that way in a bookshelf? I do. I can assure you. You put the spine back and the page in the I didn't say you were normal. I said you were safe. Fair. There's quite a significant difference between Do you think this is funny? It's not. You think he could talk to the dead? We are in complete agreement on that matter, I promise. I don't think Austin's dead. Believe me, I yeah. wish this weren't the case. But as I told you, our aura, our souls, are combined. Okay. I'm done listening to you. So how could that happen to you? I mean, I've been to Haven. I don't blame this kid. I told you I'm not going, and I told you I'm done listening. Do you think you could describe it? Our souls are one. Um, excuse me? No, why would I know that? I've never seen Try. Right now. That's probably. That's. Oh, I like this. Our beautiful. Like a large mahogany desk. There's a small table. He's half in shadow, half in light. The tea set. And the tea set was a gift to the man running it now. If you don't believe me, you can look it up. If I recall, your aunt has several books on Mistral downstairs. I'm certain you could find a picture in one of them. That's right. I must have seen it in a picture. <laughs> this poor kid. Oscar, stop talking to me! Mm. I have a grave responsibility to uphold. We both do. That's so unfair. They just shove all these stuff on these no, poor kids. You didn't. 